All right, so as we talked about in the other video, Murphy had a little bit of a, some, some string of bad experiences uh, in terms of losses of guard, previous guardians, but she's got a really good spot now. Great house, a uh, guardian who cares about her, but the dog is still fearful and uh, doesn't like to go down in the basement at all, uh, doesn't like to go outside unless uh, she's with her primary guardian. If the primary guardian is gone, then the secondary guardian can sometimes get her to go outside. Um, but these are basically some phobias that the dog has developed um, and probably a lack of confidence. So uh, one of the first things I, I start out when I have a dog that's in, uh, in a fearful state is to ask what rules and structure they have in their lives. Now, a lot of times we have a good dog that doesn't have a lot of rules and structure. Um, and people kind of look at, well, the dog's good, doesn't need it. Dogs kind of go through life probing, waiting for somebody to tell them this is the boundary, this is the limit. Come here, Murphy, sit, sit. And uh, so if we don't have a lot of rules, that can actually confuse them into thinking that I have the same authority as my humans. Now, if I have the same authority as the humans, then I have the same responsibilities as the humans. And just like we find uh, as we go through life is as we have more responsibility added to our plate, we have a little bit of pressure and with that pressure comes some stress. So you have a dog that might have been, that had some, some issues that shook, shook her a little bit and then got rehomed and in, now in a new home where she's receiving a lot of love, but that lack of structure uh, and uh, uh, the, art of, the, uh, the belief that she has the same authority view can actually overstress her a little bit. And to some dogs, when they get stressed, we start seeing that they don't want to do certain things. They're almost neurotic in certain, in certain areas. Now, I noticed that she, is very, she was very uh, not bashful about asking me for attention by taking her nose under that. Does she do that a lot? Mm -hmm. Um, when she's nervous and anxious, how do you deal with it? Do you uh, try to take her for a walk? Do you try to pet her and talk to her in soothing tones? Do you just cuddle with her? I try to talk to her in soothing tones. I try not to pet her. I just try to put my hand on her. And okay, very and good. It... A lot of people, they mistakenly think, I'm going to just show you so much love that you're going to come out of it. But we actually can nurture that unbalanced state of mind. And I may have been that way at first, but it's, it's the last normal. six months I've been trying to be better. Well, especially when we bring a rescue dog in, especially if it's bad, it had a bad situation in the past. We try to, even if we're not aware of it, we try to compensate and take care of it uh, by doing, uh, by over loving the dog. Um, so in a minute, I'm going to talk, uh, probably in a different video or, or off camera, I'm going to talk about some techniques we can use to uh, add a little structure to providing positive reinforcement to help her feel a little bit better about herself. But when we have a dog that has lower self-esteem or confidence issues, we certainly don't want to pet them when they're in that unbalanced state of mind. That's why I was asking about those questions. Uh, also incorporating rules, boundaries, and limits, even if they're just for the short term, can help the dog feel more comfortable because I'm not responsible for the whole world. I'm just, all I got to do is worry about this bubble inside this house or inside this room or this floor of the house or whatever the case may be. So uh, incorporating some rules and structure, which we'll talk about off camera, which will help her feel a little bit more secure. Just like, you know, if you know your mom and dad are going to take care of things when you're a little kid, you don't have to worry about the mortgage and insurance and all the rest of that. You don't even think about it because mom and dad have that under control. So what I would like to do is help you achieve helping her f uh, fall into a follower's position so that she just feels you know what, I don't have to worry about all this stuff. I don't have to be worried about the basement or going outside or whatever it is. I'm going to have trust in my guardian and my guardian says we're going to go out for a walk. I feel good going for a walk. We're going to go down the basement. I feel good about going into the basement. Uh, but a lot of us like to tell our dog that we're the boss or we're the leader, but we don't act like it. And if we don't act like it, we can tell them all day long they only respond to the real thing. Okay. So uh, we're going to talk about some things that we can do to help uh, Murphy feel a little bit more uh, as a follower and help you kind of take over that leadership role. Okay. All right. You can go ahead and hit it. 